Hello everyone, my name is Vishal. I'm going to show you how to register on the ThinkTax and Lab platform. Before we proceed further, let's quickly revise why would it be beneficial to join the Unlab platform. So uh, one is, of course, you can access the resources and it's free of cost. But you can also track the progress of your students uh, and uh, if required, also assign marks. Plus for teachers, uh, there are some special resources. Those can also be acting at the So the first thing we will be talking about is how do you register on the platform and then what all you can access and how to access and how do you track. When we talk about registration, there are three aspects. One is how do you register your school? Second stage is how do you register other teachers from your school and how do you add the students to the platform? When we talk about resources, as we discussed before, there are resources which are common for students and teachers, which is the videos, the guides, the observation worksheets and material list and some additional teacher resources. Uh, you can track the progress, you can assign marks. And for that, what we are going to do is next is visit this uh, URL called cbselab.web.app. Once you enter the URL, this is the view you will get here. When I click on select school, as you can see, there is an option to create new ones. Either I can click the plus button or create a new one. And that will take me to the schools form where I enter the school's details, starting with the registration number. So this is the number of the school representative. And it's important that the coordinator or the school teacher who is going to uh, be the main point of contact that number is added here because you are the one who is going to then uh, add other teachers and students details we are ready to submit so when I click the submit button you will get a message saying so and so school with this registration number has been added and now the school name has appeared already it has also captured my name in your case whoever is the person who is registering that person's name will appear i can add the grade where first let's say i add grade 10 since right now this this facility is being extended only for grade 9 and 10 you have only these two options if you have multiple sections you can add those many classes so let's say i want to create i have two sections then I can say 10th A and 10th B, but say for grade 9, I have only one section, then I can say 9A. And for each of these, right here, I can either upload the student database or I can generate the link which gets copied to the clipboard and I can share it with my students. So if I want to take a Quick note, let's say I want to share the URL with my students either on a group that I am connected with. Let's say I copy it from my clipboard and take a note. This is 10A and I can do that for 10B and again copy that and similarly I will do that for 9th A. So this is one of the methods of adding your students. Let me show the view which your students will get once these URLs are shared with them. Let us try that with the students of 10th B. As you can see, once I enter the URL, this is what I get. Let's say I enter the child's name here. I add the phone number and the class and section are already added. By doing so, the student has registered to your school's classroom for the 
grade 10 section B. So once your students do this, the, their registration is complete and they'll be able to access the classroom. Let us complete the school registration and let me show you the other way of adding your students. So as you can see, other, uh, other than sharing the link with your students, you can also upload, do a bulk upload of all the students in your class. It has to be done in a specific format, which is why you'll need this template file. So you download the CSV template file, which is mentioned here and populate your student's name there. Once you open the template file, as you can see, the template file is pretty simple. <clears throat> Only three fields required for each student. So let's say I add it here. Once I have all the student data ready, I just need to save this file and upload this file back to the website. Now I can browse and look for the file which has my student data and once that is synced, I click on upload. That completes my school registration. So I click on continue. And as soon as that is done, I am redirected to the classrooms which I'm a part of. Now if other teachers from your school have to be added, they need to come to cbselab.web.app. First, you need to sign in, which can be done by signing in through Google, or they can also uh, set the password. So after the sign in is done, they go to cbselab.web.app slash register. And once you do this here, since you are already signed in, your email ID shows up here. And of course, you do not create a new school. You enter the name of the school you are part of. Enter your phone number. And let's say you want to be added to 10th B, then that's what you say and say continue. As you can see, then this teacher is able to see only the 10th B's classroom. That completes all the information that you would require to register your school, your other uh, teachers from your school and your students to know more about how to access the resources, what all resources are available and how to track the progress. Please watch the next video. Thank you.